following collection of videos perfectly chronicles my first trip ever to Texas for some toy hunting and some retro game hunting. Meeting YouTube heroes, friends, and a ton of retro goodness as I make most of my very first Retro Palooza weekend trip. No way! You whipped into someone's attic. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. He man that was naked. He looked great wearing that thing around. <laughs> These Texans, man, what the hell? <laughs> So yeah, these are old videos, but hear me out, because if you liked Eddie Goes UK, then you're gonna love this next announcement. I'm actually, after three years, finally heading back over to Texas. First, we're gonna stop over at Chicago. You got the same crew, we got Narc, we got Greco Fabulous coming along, and loads of other characters, and we're gonna just film tons of content for you guys. First, we'll actually hit up the Chicago Toy Show on the 23rd and 24th of April, and then slowly making our way down into Texas. So, if you know of any good spots to go out toy hunting, or know any good toy stores that we should definitely hit up and please leave it down in the comments below or shoot me a message on Instagram. I will usually pop on Instagram when we arrive over at a toy store so if you're nearby you can always come and say hi. But for now let's travel back to 2019 before COVID was a thing and I had just gotten my very first DSLR camera and I'm trying to make content work with this new camera thing. So without further ado here's Eddie Goes Texas 2019. Okay guys, so we just came back from Whataburger. It was delicious, and now we're gonna hit up, what's it called again? Fan, fan uh, Dallas Fan Days. Dennis, Dennis Fan Days. What? No, fan, Dallas. Fan Dal Dal Dallas Fan Days, okay, <laughs> okay. I'll we do got, the, all the English parts from okay. here on oh, All right, <laughs> we, we got the Geek Crew here, we got uh, Greco Fabulous, we got not another retro channel making some calls over there. So yeah, pretty excited about this. Let's uh, let's take a look at Texas. surreal oh. we're here oh, we don't need and we're toy hunting. Of this. Yeah. no you don't there want is, any there video is no we. there is no we okay oh well, I found some turtles here guys so uh, I'm gonna try buying it I'll be your cameraman then. golden girls <laughs> where's, uh, where's B Arthur it's actually oh that's like the transformer thing I was looking for which one? Oh, the yeah, but it's yeah, like a front. I am getting that, and it's a lot of pops. Should we kind of stick with uh, Craig because he was talking about this one vintage guy that they were gonna try hitting up? Yeah, but if that guy's that good, it's probably gonna get sold out real quick. So, so we need to find choose him your before, friends before they do. You want to be with the ones hanging out with the hot toys or just getting the deals? Uh, ooh. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> this is gonna take hours to dig through, you know. But it's pretty neat. Mini pencils. Mini pencils. Oh, and there's like skeleton warriors, but they're like the knockoffs. That's nice. Cool stuff. Oh, yeah. This is like. Something I would dig to, but it's gonna take too long. Yeah. How much would that thing be? Like the turtles. Oh, that thing up there? Yeah. Here we go. Seven inch. Jet fires. How much is uh, the turtles? The turtles, the turtles. I got one twenty. One twenty? That's the French version. Okay. The decal on the side. Oh. 
Can I ask about some figures over here? Oh my god. Uh, here is a uh, Lion-O, Mamara, oh, mm -hmm. and uh, Jet Fireball. I totally forgot yeah. about this. If you want one, I'll buy it for myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's uh, one of the cranes. Yeah. Cranes. The broken antenna as per usual. Yeah. And yeah, mine has that too. <clears throat> I bought that box. Oh yeah. How much is the was it board trooper? Is it broken or no? That's how he calls them. Okay. And then like the mad ball, the beer balls, not the knockoff. Like those, have you seen those? Those are like the bootleg mad balls. Oh no. I never heard of those. <laughs> so, uh, some stuff over there. Is it, is it fun here? Or are you enjoying I need, yourself? I need more hair if we're going to be on in high definition. <laughs> high definition? There's there's some transformers over there. No, I've just been like, that's the rules. That's no, I shouldn't have brought these up. Oh, sorry. He's on his way. He'll be here in like 20 minutes. Okay, I can always swing back around. If you can swing, because all these are all these bins right here. Do you want to do that? This whole table is going to be covered. Okay, I'll be back. I will definitely be back. The whole table will be covered in G1. Yeah, and he'll have all the props. Awesome, I will definitely circle back. Thank you. Original. So what did he say? Um, he doesn't know anything. But in the boxes? He says in the boxes there's all G1 Transformers, so once Boss Man shows up, so we'll, we'll dance. So Craig, how are you feeling it today? You know I'm feeling pretty good, Ed. What about yourself? Uh, I had a lot of Whataburger. Dude, I need a beer, like that. Really? Yeah, like, oh. like 10 beers. 10 beers, you're gonna be Matty? <laughs> I could be. You I could, could be. be. Okay. Matty, I mean, we could hang out one day, maybe. Yeah, some beers. Next time we'll bring that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. <laughs> Let's check out some more stuff. Let's do it. Let's uh, buy stuff oh. impulsively. Impulsive. <laughs> Oh, this is the spot? Yeah. And what is it? I don't know. Beats hey. Spinsy? <laughs> oh, here's the guy you want. Yeah, in box. Sex X. Maybe maybe ask price on it, because yeah. if he has a good price, then you know. this is gonna be good. That could be a thing. That could be a thing. Voltron in space. Any of the GI Joes are five dollars. Yeah, we bought a lot of stuff tall? from him today. Yeah. We bought you. We did that spot that's in mint condition right here. And Kong Paul. Finally a friend. <laughs> Play with me. Yeah. You see that? Kordak. He's my spirit animal. Is he? I think so. <laughs> Any questions about those? Those are also mine. Okay. Don't, awesome. don't have this For one. Sure. So. Uh, yeah. Great star. That's black. Great star. Here's a complete yeah. set of Star Wars here with all their weapons. What? Complete set. That's awesome. Top and bottom. They got all their weapons with them. They're all clean, like they're brand new. Very nice. <laughs> but the four hundred fifty dollars set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy. Oh, Iron right, Man. Toy Biz. Toy Biz. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Are, are those three in the back? How much are this this one? Is that he since it ain't gonna scare probably five. Okay. okay. We'll pop it money. all together and, and see. Yeah. Oh you got some turtles behind you over there too? Um which ones are in there? 
Oh, yeah, and I'm, I'm not sure those. This one? Uh, the talking ones. Mm. I don't know about the talking ones. Those are live. I thought they were 25 but I think those are $15 a piece. He'll be back. We'll find out. Oh, I think they Yeah, they're very yellow, so. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, I'd probably buy these and open them. <laughs> yeah? If they were like this yellow. How much are the oh. weapons? Oh, those Ooh. weapons probably. Mm. Eat those around for weapons. Dollar. Dollar? Okay. Cool. So I'll take that. I'll take those two. And these two, that, that was out of your bend over there, right? Yeah, that was in there. Okay. It's like for a toy. That's more. That is right. 13. All up together is 13. Okay. I don't know, should I get those? Uh, how much? They're like 15 a piece. Like that. And then we're If you don't, I'll go. Seven dollars. It's for him. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Uh, can you make a... Yes. Okay guys, I found some stuff over here. We're over at, what is it called? The booth or the... Ron's Vintage Toys. And he does have some vintage toys here, so... Uh, Alright, so this is the 20. Um, that's 30. 40. 46. Yeah, because... So this is 46. What are you? Can, can you do anything? On the price? 35. 35. That's great. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'll give you 50. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Am I holding this for a second? <laughs> this is so demeaning. No, I. I Look at me. I'm a YouTuber. Do, 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 do. Look at all these toys. Look at all these toys. Whoa. Oh, look at top slipping, head slipping. Extreme close up. Whoa. Who's filming who? Uh, <laughs> this is like Inception, YouTube Inception. I'm right here, man. Take it. I'm not your whipping boy. Take it your whipping boy. Hey, I did good. I did good. We got two turtley figurines. Two turtley figures. Yeah, I'll, I'll show them in B roll because Greco's not really that good of a camera guy. No. But you, you do look great on camera, yes, though. Yes, thank you. Yeah, then finally, yeah. somebody recognized yeah. <laughs> my outer beauty. Uh, my, yeah. That was amazing. Uh, why? I, I was just being myself. It looks so weird that you're wearing like the shirts. The like, shirts? Yeah. yeah. We got a rapper boy. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, it, it was the He-Man, was that like a boot thing? Oh my God. So I got a He-Man. But it looks so white. Yeah, it was, is he well, just really clean? He's or? just super clean. Yeah, it was okay. like really clean. So I got the He-Man that was naked. I got two Mo2 accessories. Yeah, got one a, was Ordax. Yeah. Oh, the mm -hmm. other one is Skelet Battle Damage Skeleton oh, okay. Sword, I think. Yeah. And then I got a bootleg, and then I got a complete leech, all for thirteen dollars. Yeah, that was also great. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, definitely really great uh, for you and Cincy, like hooking, like getting us to this boot. <laughs> So how would you, how were you ended up negotiating with uh, the older guy? Yeah, what was going on there? Because he was like, stay out of it, Junior. Like, to his son? Yeah, because when I was talking, I was talking to Junior, and I wasn't getting any great deals. Uh, yeah. So how did that happen? I, think, I, I don't know. I, I Junior walked uh, away. Like, no, the, the card of figures were his. Uh, he got them for 15 a piece? Yeah, he had them out for 15 a piece. So, oh, okay. so I was like, yeah, that's, that's good for me. Because those are the ones that talk. And you never find those strips, mm -hmm. and they were really yellowed. So I was like, "Well, I can open these up, and then I actually have the real deal. Yeah. Shot to play with." Shot. Uh, Shot. Sha. I see a transformer there. Where? There. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you already looked through the whole convention. Yeah, I, thought you were ready to go. yeah I thought you were ready to go. I uh, thought we were leaving. I did. I mean, those are the reissues, anyways. But and they're they're. Oh, no, I did see them. I just you're did. above them. Uh, for that price, yes. This is the last one. 
the last one. Only ten. It's ben awesome. Cooper Merman. Yeah, you can find these. Ben Cooper, Mass, Merman. I wonder what that is. Nothing weird going on over here, apart from uh, me meeting Cincy Nerd. How's it going? Hey, guys. Uh, so, Cincy is also on the same panel I'm on at Retropalooza. I am indeed, yes. This Sunday. This video is probably going to be on later, but uh, well, uh, go check him out because today he's hunting with us over at this convention. I already forgot where we're at, but uh, we're at the uh, Dallas Fan Days. So yeah, what's your channel about? Why should people go ahead and subscribe to you? Well, I'm known as Cincy Nerd. I'm no longer in Cincinnati. That's short for Cincinnati, but I'm currently living in Texas, and uh, I'm a toy hunter. I collect vintage. I collect modern. I collect whatever. Uh, really being ad big into uh, like Mask and G.I. Joe and GoBots and stuff like that, vintage wise, and then Marvel Legends, Hot Toys, Mezcos, what have you, modern. So uh, just a big toy collector. Awesome. And uh, awesome. yeah, you Definitely. can find me, uh, Cincy Nerd, on YouTube, Cincy Nerd on Instagram. Just search for Cincy Nerd. I'll put it me. down in the description below so Thank you. people will, will be able to find it. Yeah, you bought some art today, but uh, did, you're going to yeah. have to check out his video for it. Sneak preview. Sneak preview. Okay. Uh, hey, get your camera out of my shot. Get a bigger camera. Come on. <laughs> it's not about who's biggest. I can fit into tighter space. There's toy biz. Everybody get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way. Weekend of the toy biz. Toys everywhere. There we go. Remco? Is it plastic, like soft plastic or is it heavy? Hard. It's Remco or? I don't even see a stamp. It's ready to party though. <laughs> Worm Jim. Oh, Earthworm Jim. Is he missing his head? Yes, but it pops off. Oh, okay. Okay. oh his head is in there? 20 bucks. I'm actually kind of impressed with, like, the what's here. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what you can buy over here. Like, every boot we walk into, there's at least some finished stuff. There's at least some yeah, I mean, cool uh, YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just me. I'm the only one. Um... You know, yeah, you know, like compared to like Boston this year, Boston had a lot more newer toys, so wasn't that exciting? Yeah, I'm, I'm like having to put like uh, the brakes on, like from the buying stuff. I mean, we still have Retro Palooza, still have. Still got three more days. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna hit some stores up later, so uh, should I buy this? I mean, that's a, you're not gonna find that. Yeah, like, no, I'm know. not gonna find it anywhere else. I mean, else. maybe Retro Broken. Palooza, but is it? Broken. Oh, a Rick and Morty car. I'm not gonna be doing any bending over. So, no G1 score? No. Oh, okay. But did he have cool stuff? Yeah, they were fine, but, but he's he, still pulling stuff out of the box, but I saw the price list and... Okay. Couldn't made me, made me buy anything, actually. okay. Made me sh <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> oh, here we go, hey. man. Hey, Brad. Nice to meet you. Yeah, cool. Should have met me second out oh, there yeah. the first Hey, how you doing? <laughs> we're all together. <laughs> cool. How so, you doing today so far? Doing good, man. Yeah. Been buying stuff? So, guys, I'm over here with Brad. What's, what's your happened? what's your channel name again? My channel name is One Man Toy Show. But it used to be Brad. It used to be Brad Campbell. Okay, just self -titled. I, I, that's I, my I, name. But yeah. yeah, I just decided to go yeah. for a total rebranding recently. So definitely check out the channel. Uh, Say it again. One Man Toy Show. Yeah, definitely check him out. He, me, him, Greco, and I don't know the Ford guy anymore. 
Um, we we entered like the toy time machine. Yeah, toy the challenge twenty dollar toy challenge. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was great. So that's how I met him, and that's now right. we're actually meeting in person. That's right, right here. It's freaking awesome. So <laughs> I know that Lance didn't announce the winner, but I tallied up the votes myself, and I'm pretty sure. Is it I me? Had, I think I had one. Yeah, okay. okay. I think right. we can crown you the winner. Okay. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just chose the best toy line. Yeah. Ghostbusters, so That's everybody true. voted for that, I think. It's, it's yeah. But it's cool meeting people over here yeah. in, in the U.S. Americas. It's awesome. Because, uh, yeah, I'm so tired. I'm so jet lagged. <laughs> 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 no, um, yeah, we're going to walk around some more, maybe buy some stuff. I'm not going to buy the $400 Toxic Crusader, though. No? Not happening. No. Mm, Earthworm Gym Toys. No, it's not on Maybe so. the Primal Rage puppet. I just I was a little off put by his rate. I mean he wasn't uh, like Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't willing to negotiate. Yeah. He wasn't He wasn't like mean about it, but he just Maybe he just hates he just foreigners. Not, not budget. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, so like I said, we're gonna walk around some more and see you later. Bye. Some um, like bootleg um I got this Skeletor pop here. I don't know, Homer Simpson uh, Skeletor oh, he here. Looks freaking cool. That is awesome. Pretty cool. These I hadn't seen before. Lino. Oh yeah, I think Craig has one. You have the Lion, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is cool. I like that like, one. I've got like all his like headgear and stuff in the bag. <laughs> nice. Cool. Yeah. What, what two random lines like mashed together? I mean, they came out awesome. I'm like the biggest like Simpsons fan ever, and I love 80 stuff, so yeah. it's like perfect for me. There you so. go. I've been hunting for these two for a while, so that's good. Just happy to find them. So. Yeah, those are like my first like big pickups of the day. So. Yeah, I imagine it doesn't come up very often, so no. it's always nice to cross another thing off the list. So now we're leaving the con, uh, just taking a little stroll down the red carpet of the Fan Expo. Um, yeah. So what did you guys think of the convention? Was it bad? Like we found some pretty good deals. We can do a little breakdown later, right? So, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll break it down, down later over at Narc Slayer and uh, show you all the stuff that we got. Yeah, so. got some goodies. But anyway. Are you seeing my mouth? That's what I'm trying to do here. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, more goofiness to be continued. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, I was gonna show you the complete haul I got over at the Dallas Fan Days. Thanks so much to Nark for hooking me up with a press pass. Thanks so much for letting me use his toy room as a backdrop for this little video right here. Like I said before, I'm gonna show you everything we got over at the Dallas Fan Days. So, one of the first boots I walk up to had turtle toys, so I had to go digging around. This is the first time I'm over at a convention in the USA, so I was pretty excited seeing some vintage toys I had never seen before or held in my hands, so I had to grab them. This Leonardo dude, I think he's like from the military line, almost complete, and he's got some accessories. This is the Chief Leo figure. And I got the Wacky Action Bebop or Rocksteady. I, I always get those two confused. He came with his belt and he has like uh, an action where, you know, his head twists around. So it's pretty nice. It just keeps going. Okay. But lastly, I also got the Ninja Action Michelangelo. This one is actually harder to get over in Europe. I hardly ever see him, and I needed him to complete the, the collection. I actually don't know what he does. Oh, this is some kind of a backflip, or supposed to have weapons, but he didn't come with the weapons. But it's already hard enough getting the figurine. So yeah, good haul over there. I think I paid twenty-five dollars, not euros, dollars to get all this stuff. Then we were just walking around, talking to Cincinnur, who was there too. Definitely go check out his channel. Greco, um, he got a couple good things, so on his channel he should probably have a video out by April next year or something like that. <laughs> I'm shooting for Christmas. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're all over here this weekend. It's, it's insane. We're making lots of videos, so plenty of content for all you people 
to look forward to. Another boot we went to was called Ron's Vintage World or Vintage Toys, something like that. And over there, started digging around uh, together with Nark in some of the tubs. And you know, I'm always looking to add new loose figurines to my collection, so picked up some more figurines. Yeah, I got this Slash guy because my Slash doesn't really have the, uh, the little slashy kind of things over here. Uh, the accessories, I got an Iron Man, which isn't just the Toy Biz one, it's actually, what is it called, Secret Wars. It is in kind of rough condition, but overall, pretty, pretty nice. This one is Apocalypse, I think. This one is Toy Biz, so another great ad. And I was really glad seeing this one in the tub of like just the regular toys. This one is of course uh, the thing of, of the Fantastic Four. Uh, it does like uh, a moshing kind of action. You know, when he goes into the pit at a metal show, you gotta get out of the way. <laughs> then over there, um, the guy also had a couple of card figurines, so I picked up two of them. These are both talking turtles. They're not in the best shape, but they were only $15 a piece. So I was like, I might as well just get these and open them up because they don't have these loose either. Uh, they come with like a tiny strip that's always missing and it allows the turtles to actually have some speech in there. And this one actually had something more special inside over here, if I can pull it out again. It had like a tiny little pamphlet thing uh, announcing the Toxic Crusaders Playmates toy line. So this little, this little uh, piece of paper is really awesome. So um, when I threw it all together, I think it was 46 bucks and I asked I asked the guy because part of it was his sons uh, I, I don't know what happened but all of a sudden he was like 35 and that was like the price I was aiming for so I was like yeah sure I'll do that um, so yeah added all these great figurines to the collection I uh, had a great time over at my first convention here in the USA and yeah I'm looking forward to tomorrow we also went over to Retro Madness a little while later, uh, but that's for another video, so definitely stay tuned, subscribe, and check out the other great YouTubers in this freaking get-together thing this weekend, you know? USA! 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 <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was very good, yeah. So the first convention we hit up, I'm already getting such good deals. I can't believe it. This is the land of opportunity for toy collectors, obviously. I'm also really digging that I get to experience the way that Narc and Greco Fabulous make their videos. It's really educational how they work it out, how they structure their stuff, and how fast they actually make all the content work for them. And just being blown away by the stuff these sellers have over here. But it's it's no wonder, I mean, even if you go out at night, you still get to visit a couple of cool toy stores like we did in the Retro Madness episode. Okay, so we're here over in Texas, of course, and it seems like Retro Madness is still open. It's uh, 9 o'clock at night here, but uh, it's still open for an hour, so let's check out the shop. Some, some bends I can pull out for you guys to, to, to Actually, you just follow me. Okay, all right. Ooh, toys, toys, games, games. games. And then you got the Funko Pops, you know, and then uh, toys for the rest of the shop. So, this will Turtles in here, but I got some other turtles I can show you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, got backstage access right away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big time. These are pretty fun, and I have no idea what they're worth, but. Oh, I've actually seen those before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta get sneak kids to be on the block to, to Mike's wife. Yeah. So, yeah. They got all four of these. What you're asking on those? Uh, you know, if you're interested in taking them home, I can look them up. Why are you showing me this? Now I want to buy this. Can I? I can I? Can I fit this into my? I can't fit it. 
fit it. Yeah. I think if you fold it up enough, you'll be able to fit it. Yeah, but if I fold it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's broken. That's the joke. We're not even in a minute, and we're already in the back room of Retro Madness. So. Sure are. So. I've already been here. Should we misplace that here? Or? Yes. Oh, that's that. that Ewok village. Oh, uh, they let you guys come back here. Yeah, they hit him, Jim. Yeah, I've already been here once. Somebody. There's a big hole in the Ewok village, though. What's that? Oh, he gave her this new kids in a block thing? Oh, my God, I remember those things. Delicious cookies. Eat it. Food challenge. Food challenge. There, there's none in there, but it's cool. I'm going to put that in the van and give your keys back in a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, right, give me a second. I'll dig yeah. out some stuff. Here. On this. <laughs> no idea, but I can come up with a number, man. Yeah, I can't Not fit that. It, it can't fit like the big the standy. standy in. Yeah. I can't fit it in my my I'd what say is it, what, luggage. You, 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 you rolled over here from Belgium. <laughs> she take that back with you, man. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Oh man, thank yeah. thank you, you so much. It, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, say some nice stuff on the interweb about us. And, hey, boss, yeah. that's pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> This bin has got some really random turtle stuff. Ooh, okay. So. <gasps> oh, Check yeah. it out there. Okay. okay. There, I mean, when I say random, I do mean random. That's cool. So, who's this guy? Unfortunately, I, I shoved another box of board games in my. I got a ton of stuff in my house. We we're getting ready to open a second store. Here. So I've got. Oh, really? Like, cool. Look what's in this tub right here, eh? This is freaking, this is freaking nice. Turtle backpack. Ninja Turtles 3. Another baggie. An apron. This baggy is amazing though. It's got like a mini technodrome in it. It's got a tiny caveman dinosaur. It's pretty sick. There's a turtle copter in here. Uh, the box is a bit beat up though. So far, pretty right, cool. Everybody's got a perspective box here. I like this. Cool. Anything else crazy to show you guys? Stick it so out. These are uh, J.C. Yeah. Penny standees from uh, J.C. Penny. That's a from store? first order. Yeah, it's like, a, I, yeah, I, like I filmed, a I filmed for Europe, so yeah, yeah. some stuff is, is yeah. it's like yeah. a Macy's. That like helps. a Macy's. Yeah. Okay. So they're like super heavy duty, and some I got those in. I'm gonna put those in our new store. I'm, a bunch of stuff okay. I've got set back. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Masters of the Universe decoration. What? Most of the Devastator is in here, right? Or is uh, that not the toy? Yeah, that is, that is the Destructor Tones. But I have, like, I have like two of them. Okay, Two okay. complete ones that I, I asked for complete ones. <laughs> you can actually do them pretty well fine. Oh, yeah. Devastator. I think he's a blaster, though. Yeah. Whole section of Marvel. Yeah, he wants some firewood. Wanna chop some wood? <laughs> Wanna go chop some wood? <laughs> it's heavy, dude. What? Um, oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, did I go for you? Yeah. Why'd you get this one? Should probably try getting the saber tooth over here. Not bad. What did you say? That was That's cool, man. Like one of the metallic ones. Twenty. Not too bad. It's missing something in the back, or so like. What is that? Oh, you Caleb you. said he might be interested in us. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Thanks, dude. Oh, right. Got some paperwork. Got some paperage. <laughs> yeah, you know. Ooh, cool. 15% punk, 25% hog, um, I don't know, 60% mutant, IQ. Okay. 
This one is uh, maybe pile material. Yeah? Yeah. What do we say in your pile? This one, yeah. If, yeah. Do we have piles here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. So, um, Craig, you, you used to own the store or you used to run the store? Yeah, so found it, owned it, yeah. Uh, me and that guy over there, Daniel, we started this uh, Retro Madness in my garage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so pretty crazy. We started uh, refurbishing arcade units, and so we were the arcade auction. Refurbish them, flip them, and then you know it became this over time. And then it, cool. And now so, you're like a a customer in this. I'm a customer. Week. Yeah, <laughs> you know, second home. Second and then Boston Mike came. Ew. What a year and a half later? No, I think about eight, nine months. You guys. Yeah. Then like, he came. It was love at first sight. Yeah. He helped us out and became an owner. And cool. yeah, it's fun. That's Joe's my life. Check out some of the games they have. Yeah. Two games in one. I've seen a lot I don't have. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't really know the prices on these, so it's, it's like. Let me figure it out, dude. So I'm looking at a couple games right now, <laughs> and there's even more I don't have, but it's gonna be like seeing what what do I see, what do I never see? Because uh, there's also toys, and I haven't even looked at the expensive games yet. So let's make a maybe pile. I found some stuff over here at uh, Retro Manus. <laughs> found this really cool looking backpack. Uh, some NES games. I'll, I'll show everything later, but I'm also trading in some stuff we found at the garage sale earlier this morning. So just checking out what we can do over here. What do you think, Greg? Just rock and roll. That's it, man. <laughs> That's it. That's man. All I got. Are you, you kind of tired? I'm a little tired. A little tired. I think I need some more booze. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we, 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 we can we can make that happen. Yeah. Dance a little. Get down tonight. So this actually worked out great. Found some stuff at the garage sale this morning. Got all the stuff. Um, it came down to like 93 euros. Not euros, dollars. <laughs> uh, but yeah, got $75 in store credit from this nice gentleman over here. And now I'm paying him 22 and I'm walking away with all this cool stuff. Uh -huh. Thanks for uh, showing me the store. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Awesome, awesome. Um, it's gonna be hard to like... Piece, piece together it. action figure. I mean, there's a transformerland.com. So, did you finally buy something here? Not buy, oh, okay. I mean, after all that, I have two things in my hands, so. Oh, you might buy it? I don't know, I have to see what might, might, might be a sale here? Did you bring any trade-in stuff? Or? Did you bring that book? I didn't bring it with me, but I probably should. Sure. This book, yeah, this book came with me. Ooh, do you have that on you all times? Or at all times, or? Yes, it's like my, uh, Cause it's, like, my, you it's just, like my holy bible. You just pull it out. What do we got, man? 
A little micro guy here. Bless her skin. I was thinking about 30 bucks. I'm messing with you. I was thinking about two bucks a uh, piece. At man. least, yeah. <laughs> two bucks a piece, man. So you're looking at four bucks. Sure. I'll do you. You got four bucks cash on it? I should. It appears that I've debunked that bus tax. Well. <laughs> I'm gonna see a video. Man, there's a $30 transformer. Oh my god! <laughs> The idiot! Check out this dummy over here! <laughs> <laughs> These Texans, man, what the hell? But yeah, I might come back with the some things to trade in. Yeah. This gun you want to back up the line? Uh, no, you can probably pocket okay. it. Thank you. Uh, she's right on the line. We did the gun with the line, too. Uh, that's Blaster. He's the Autobot tape deck. The, the sound wave okay. equivalent. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, this was fun? Okay. Okay. Are we done? Yeah. Can we turn are are we camera? done? Can we turn off the camera now? Yeah. Okay. Why are you repeating me? Wait. Wait, when? what? <laughs> Who? Wait, I don't know what's happening. I'm really tired. I want to go home. Why won't you just put the camera away, Ed? I don't know how turn it off works. The button. I don't know how it works. I don't know how any of this works. All right, so back in Narc's Lair with another uh, haul. Today we went over to Retro Madness, which was a freaking amazing store. Craig actually used to own it or co-own it, something like that. Um, yeah, immediately when we walked in, the guy from behind the counter, he was like, yeah, come, come, come with me and go over to the back room because there's cool turtle stuff here. I was like, do they do this with every customer? Do they assume every customer likes turtles as much as I do? He hooked me up with like showing me some of these really big standees, which I can't put in my suitcase. So I was already like, oh crap, I, I, I can't do, I, I can't, I can't be here because they're showing me stuff I can't buy. But luckily enough, in like the big tub I was digging through, I found this thing. So this is basically just your, your average little box thingy uh, that used to hold apple cinnamon grams. But it's like a turtle van, so I really had to get this. And the guy turned around and was like, well, you know, he traveled all the way from Belgium here. You can get this one for free. I was like, awesome. The whole experience over at Retro Manus was really cool. It was overwhelming for me because in Belgium, there's not really that much of those big toy stores out there. Everything was laid out well. You had like your Toy Biz um, section, you had Power Ranger section, Turtle section, really nicely done, and a big uh, selection of video games too. So. I didn't just pick up toys this time, there's video games in this video. Let's take a look what I did pick up. We got this baggie right here. Oh, I saw this tree shark and I, I, I knew I had to grab this one. It says F-16 on uh, on the top over here. Uh, probably from the metal line or something because it looks really cool. I had to grab that, threw it in the maybe pile. Ended up picking it up. I got Sabertooth. Uh, he comes with his weapon. so. That was pretty good. Games, yeah, I got the games and actually brought over the games I picked from the draft uh, from the garage sale earlier this morning. Lots of videos are being made here today. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the games. I got a double feature game. Uh, so we got X Plode in short order. Two games in one card. That's, uh, that's, that's good uh, price quality. Tecmo Bowl. Game Boy game. Like I was saying before, I'm coming over here to the USA to complete my Game Boy collection. This is one I was missing. Picked up Uninvited. Really uh, sought after game, at least in Belgium, because you never see it there. I think it's an NTSC exclusive. Also, ended up picking up Street Cop after because they give me such good trading credit that I only had to pay like $20 dollars for the whole thing I got so I was like yeah I'll get this one too and I actually got it for just 20 bucks so this is one that you need the power pad for cop street cop is what it's called uh, and I picked the bomber man uh, I think in Europe it's known as I'll, I'll put up a picture I forgot what it's called but uh, it, it, it got a different name. Uh, Dyna Blaster is what it's called in Europe, the PAL version. So yeah, nice looking cover, or maybe some people don't like the cover, but I was like, yeah, gotta get this one. So really glad about the uninvited. And another thing I found in the back room over in Retro Madness was a turtle backpack. Now this is something I can stuff into my luggage or bring along as a carry-on on the flight. Yeah, a Teenage Mutant. Ninja Turtles movie tree 
backpack thingy. Very 90s, awesome colors. This haul is freaking awesome. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. So, thank you here. This is this is the last of my international tips for the day. So I've already okay. used up everything I know yeah. with Boney M and, and Focus. But I'm, I've been told if you're in Japan and somebody gives you a card, you have to study the card. Okay. Study the card. It's Don't custom. just you can't just stick it in your. That's yeah. really shitty. If you just stick it in your pocket, you've got to study it and if possible, ask a follow-up question. Okay, otherwise it's not. It's, it's, not just, it's like when you, when, you, when you don't uh, <laughs> make like too much sound when yeah. you're eating yeah. food there. Right, yeah, it's you're just a dick if you some Japanese yeah. guy hands you a card and you look at it put throw it in your pocket. Did you know this, Craig? What's that? The etiquette in, of getting business cards in Japan? How's that? You, you've got to study the card. Trivia, Gotta study it. Okay. Oh, and if easy. possible, oh, ask like a follow-up question. Like, like, what font is the madness in? That's not a good follow-up okay. question, okay. but you know, okay. a follow-up question about your career, perhaps. Okay. You know, how are things at the GameStop? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's that's the one way. Yeah. 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 Like so. It. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you my card. See. See. Now I'm gonna study his card. And you're like, uh, Ed. What's your favorite toy line? Turtles. See? I have respected Ed. Yeah. I thought you were going to open up with what bad life choices have you made? <laughs> well, Ed, I have made these same choices. Are you that, throwing with uh, toys? No, I don't know where this came from. <laughs> it's, oh, this guy? <laughs> Which I wish somebody would buy. It's only $3. It keeps flying around the store. Nark definitely hooked us up with a couple of good spots to go and hunt. Uh, I can't wait to go back. I think they have like two or three locations now, and I just want to head back there uh, in that atmosphere and just hang around and talk to the owners. So the next video is kind of why this whole adventure started, me going to Texas, but also how my entire channel started. Retro Palooza is a convention put up by the Game Chasers, Jay in particular, but the Game Chasers is also how me and Renzo got together collecting and then later started doing the YouTube channel. Uh, Renzo does his work behind the scenes and also, just through doing the videos, we met Maddie, and that made the Belgium team complete. So I've been watching Game Chasers for the past couple years, and this Retro Palooza convention was definitely the highlight of this trip. Well, whilst I just meet a ton of YouTube heroes and geek out over it. Well, hey there, guys! Back in the car with Nark and Grego Fabulous, enjoying yeah. some trail mix. You gotta give us a heads up before you start these loops. Way. Not camera ready, damn it! <laughs> Today we're heading out to Retro Palooza. The whole reason I'm I'm here. Uh, so it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be. So I basically just flew in from Europe. I spent 22 hours in a couple planes to get over here in Texas. I'm really tired. Thanks, dude. There we go. Nice. 40 doll here. This is so awesome. I get to walk around with my two buddies, Nark and Greco Fabulous. And there he's walking off again. <laughs> okay, Greco, he walked away again. I love those all. I always take them to GameStop and drink them. Seals. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least Nark's nice enough to show me around the fender floor. That's why I can't help anything. I'm like, uh, 20 bucks. Okay, Craig, how are you feeling? I'm a little tired. Is it fun honestly. over here? What's up? Is it is it fun over here? Yeah. yeah. You're, you're really quiet. Yeah, I'm I'm having a good time. Okay. I'm just trying to find a deal, you know? A okay. deal. Okay. <laughs> like a lot of deals. Let's go over here, okay? Do you, you see any of the vendors that we should really hit up? There's some turtle stuff. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'll check back with you guys later.
Retro Palooza is just an overload on my senses. There's so much finished toys, there's so much games out here. My European mind is just exploding. 200? Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> The first thing I do pick up is a Virtual Boy game. This has been on my list for my USA trip from the start, so I'm actually really glad I get to add Telero Boxer to my Virtual Boy collection. Paid five bucks for this. Awesome. Bucky, Alpha Chicken, Might be Magic. No prices on them. Alright, so we got, what is that, DuckTales 2, a Bucky over here, Upper Pop. Chicken, J. Joe, Joe. There's no pictures. 40, okay. Alright. Jetsons. It's nothing I'm going to jump on right away, but cool selection though. Yeah. yeah Great yeah. selection. Now we see some Team and T stuff, and it's over at Game Bros booth. Bring that. That's more room for you. <laughs> oh, I don't have that. They don't have the turtle yet. No, I know. Oh, oh yeah. Oh crap. Sorry. Crane. Almost complete. Don't you think you could buy that? Which is a foot soldier. Now they also got a tub underneath the table with some more TMNT accessories. It's broken, but this goes okay. with Mikey, so it's probably Mikey's. What else? From the uh, this house? movie. Yeah. Okay, belt. take that. It's also a movie belt. I'll take that. Uh, those are all movie belts, actually. This one too. Yeah, this one too. This one goes to. Nice. This one also. Okay. Uh, so these are probably also. Yeah, they're the darker. Yeah. Right. And this. you're amazing. Um, this is movie. This is for a foot soldier. Yeah. So if you're gonna grab that, I'll take that. You'll take that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll pop it in the. Uh, in the bundle. Yeah. If we can bundle this also. What is that? Foot soldier. Okay, there you go. So I don't know the prices. And then this too with it. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Bad Yeah, I wanted to get the whole set, but it needs like hard to find all of it. Yeah. Bring you out, Greg. Work. <laughs> What's your offer? Um, 30 bucks. 240, you gotta do it. 40? Okay. We do that. It's cheap. Yeah, cheap. yeah it's with, uh, with yeah. the thing, okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. Good okay. deal. Thank you. Thank you, man. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, dude. This goes on YouTube. What do you want to shout out? Thank you very much. Everybody that bought something from my booth, does this thing suck or something? Is it good? Yeah, it's all good. road? It's all... What? Is road mic? Yeah. Then you're golden. They could have heard me. I thought you said I couldn't hear me. But thank you for anybody who bought anything at my booth, especially that guy. Game bros. And not only is there a lot of toys and games, there's also a ton of YouTubers actually watch every week. Oh, man, no way. Greg had it. Wow. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, same here. I've seen him. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have a the Mad Ball one, the Toonie, I don't know. That's What's his neat, name, bro. Yeah. That's me. We don't see those around. Oh, that's work. It's for a lawsuit. What? Yeah, uh, a lawsuit Nintendo was, uh, in uh -huh. with everybody that purchased games. You get uh, a there's a letterhead you can read. Five dollar voucher? Dear Ohio resident. That's crazy. That's cool. We definitely don't see stuff like this. That's crazy. Where did you even find yeah. that? <laughs> In a book. In a book, wow. okay. Now, I, I actually don't know a lot of people here in Texas, but I did manage to make one pre-made deal over here with Scott. I don't know if we're rolling or not. We're up. <laughs> rolling, man. We are rolling now. Right? <laughs> yes. 
Hey guys, I'm here with Scott Squatch. We actually met like a year ago over at a metal festival in Europe. Out in the crowd. Yeah. yeah. That was very interesting. And trying to find him on the phone, like in the mix of like 50,000 people was pretty interesting. Yeah, but it's fun. It was short, but it was really fun. It was great. Uh, and we spoke about some of these games that I brought for you. He, uh, I'm collecting like PAL exclusives, and he was able to gather me up four that I did not have. This one I was really looking forward to, because it's just so funky looking. Just the cover. It's also a really good game. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, uh, you can always tell if the, if the characters have bug eyes, it's going to be good. <laughs> and then, uh... I I have to trade him for him. I, I don't know what to what he wants yet. I think I have I do have pal stuff, so maybe he would be interested in, in pal stuff. <laughs> I already have most of the pal stuff. So. Take there my pal go. stuff. <laughs> I'll, I'll maybe look around with it. Okay. We can figure something out. You know. Essentially, the value. Whoever remembers actually making. What did you officially want on those? Don't you can't make me make a price. I can't do both sides. Whatever you, you know it, right? Yes, we've already done the gift. He was nice enough and gave me some PAL games when we met a year ago. So we've already done the gift thing. Where were we at? Like 120. It was about 120. Yeah. You want to take that in? For 120 or is that? How about a hundred? Yeah. Do I do a hundred? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll pay seventy for this. Sounds perfect. Awesome. Nice and easy. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. No, Thank you. <laughs> we did it. Did it. Oh yeah, we did it. I got to add a couple of NES games. Traded in my pal stuff. That's going into Scott's collection, but I got away with a couple games I really needed. I got away with Rambo. I got the box for that one. I picked up Contra Force. I had to grab that game. I, I, I love the Contra series, and this is probably the hardest one to get, so pretty glad about getting this one. Picked up Atina. Not too sure what this is about, but it's SNK and it's an arcade game, I guess. Then I got Xanak. Got the box for this one, and it seems to be a space shooter, so very glad about it. Then Twin Eagle. I guess helicopters. It had a cool cover, so picked that up. And I also saw Power Punch 2. Now this is the unofficial sequel to Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It still kind of looks like Mike Tyson, but now you actually have to box in space against space mutants. Freaking awesome. So these six games are the ones I got from Scott's boot. Very glad about that. Thanks for giving me up, buddy. Oh, you had it one handed? Okay, Odell. Here we go. Well, I mean, oh. oh. We're having a, a father son moment right here. We saw No, they would have been right here, buddy. Thank you for coming coming today. Uh, today we're reading from the book of uh, Optimus. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? Are you camera ready? Uh, I don't know. There's a, I'm going to need Rogaine or something, like hair implants. What's I'm Rogaine? Not, what you know Rogaine in no. Europe? It's, no. uh, I mean, I, I don't know what Rogue so is. You, I don't did need you, it. Did you shoot a video today? I did, did right here. This is my secret shooting? little point of view. People oh. think I'm an undercover cop, a really bad undercover cop. Really bad little, undercover uh, cop. Yeah. So how, how are you liking Retro Palooza? It's fun. I mean, there's a lot to look at. Running into some you know fun people that I know from the internet, so it's always fun to... I've been saying fun a lot. Uh, brain's not working. I'm not a walking thesaurus. Sorry if this isn't good enough for you people. Uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying meeting the people. Okay. Um, I, no, no fans have approached me yet, which is kind of weird. I, I think they're still a little bashful. They're probably taking pictures from a distance. You know, it's, it's something it's something that goes with the territory. Uh, but yeah, I, I finally got something. I worked out a trade. Traded some. What is, uh, it? is it some transformer? Yeah. No way. Uh, uh, Actually, uh, got what you came for? A little bit, yeah. Uh, this guy. You can't show everything because they need incentive to go watch your video. Okay, right? yeah, so here's one of like three things I got. Um, from the Retro Madness booth. From Retro, Retro Madness, Madness, yeah. So, uh, you know. Basically, the stuff that wasn't out at the shop yesterday. I uh, know, it, it was there. That. It was there? It was there, yeah. What? But uh, we, worked out, we worked out a trade. Um, again, I 
you know, we went back and forth a lot. Great guys, uh, awesome shop. Definitely one of the best vendors here, I would say. Uh, really fair, great to talk to. But, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a cheap flea market guy, so any kind of convention haggling and pricing is, is tough for me. Um, so, I mean, their pricing is way you know, more than fair. And I'm rambling, but we got the deal done. You also just traded in the stuff we got at the garage. Exactly, I just, which I didn't grab video of. <laughs> it's okay, I am, it's okay. Man. I am so okay. good at my job, which is not really my job, which is probably why. Okay. Uh, yeah. But, but cool. We, we cool. have still photos or something. Still photos? Uh, All right, moving on. <laughs> and starring in The Wizard. Now, one of the channels that totally influenced me into starting my own YouTube is Game Chaser, so I had to go over there and pick up a t-shirt. It's so, minimally like a $10 glass, pine oh, wait, glass. I, I actually want to buy a shirt. Oh, buy a shirt? Wait, when did you get the spark? Hey. <laughs> You're doing a good job keeping your composure. He came all the way from Europe to see you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I just thought you were from Texas. <laughs> really? Wait. Uh, you don't have an accent. Oh, I watched a lot of turtles. Oh. <laughs> Wait, they don't overdub it in Belgium. Yeah. Oh, so you're from Belgium? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. You came here just for this? Yeah, to meet you guys. Hopefully, get a, get a picture or something. Crazy. Definitely get a picture. Yeah. Actually, you came here at the right time. Usually, he's not here. I love these guys. They're freaking awesome, and I'm totally geeking out, as you can probably tell by the footage. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. That's, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, so you get to see all the all my stuff I'm selling. This is Samson. This is... Uh, pick that up. Um, but, yeah, is that the one you picked up in... Or is it... Like the... Yeah, Arkansas. Is that the one? Yeah. So, I'm ge geeking out. Like, totally geeking out. I know. I, I kind of want to put you on the spot. <laughs> And the Belgians are so pushy, huh? They're so pushy. Could you do that horizontal? <laughs> yeah. You see any cowboys yet? Uh, no, not really. Yeah. Like, all we did was, like, go garage sailing and went to some retro shops yesterday. Oh, yeah? So I'm only in until Monday morning. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Just really for the convention. Funny they did garage sale? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. did really good. Kind of someone's attic. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. You wait, wait, you went into someone's attic. Yeah. More about that garage sale in a later video. Right now, the Game Chasers are in the works of producing their own movie, and the day got even better when we started talking to Billy. We can make it too expensive. Yeah. How's it going? We, we, we asked some stuff about the movie, and all of a sudden he was like, y'all want to be in a movie? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What time? Extras? Hell yeah. 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 That would, that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm at your mercy wherever you want to ship me off. So more about that in the next video. Definitely tune in for my part two of my Retro Palooza adventure next Monday. Are we really filming my childhood stories about spurned love? About what? Sperm love? What? Spurned love. Spurned. Unrequited love. Oh, okay. Like, so like, no, I actually just wanted to get like the bebop or the rock steady in the backpack. Uh, sorry. Yeah. No, I'll get out Shoot of and b-roll, but hey, I'll, I'll, I'll use the audio. It's okay. <laughs> Fun. Stupid. Stupid Ah, he had the cap on. What a dum-dum. <laughs> How much can I get his his blaster for? Uh, I think 25 bucks. Yeah? yeah. Not bad. Really? Uh, she clean him, though. Oh, I mean, he's going yeah. to get a bath. He's going to get a bath. He's going to get a bubble bath. <laughs> bubble bad you know, babes. Yeah. Bubble bad bebop. Bubble bad bebop. Is that bebop? Is it rocksteady? Nobody yeah, knows. Nobody ever knows. Nobody. It's got to be rocksteady. Nobody ever knows. Right? What? Well, this is rocksteady. Rocksteady. Oh yeah, we were going to get set up for some movie stardom. More on that later. But that last part we were talking about with Billy is the attic invasion toy hunt garage sale, that's actually the thing that ended up being the Attic Invaders pilot. An homage to all those great toy hunting and game hunting channels like Game Chasers or Retro Liberty or as they're called now, Pixel Gaming Squad. That's what I wanted to do with this episode and I must have spent like two months working on it trying to make the feels 
kind of like that. It's an homage to these channels, and I'm still really proud of it. In this episode of Attic Invaders, Dweebs, Geeks, and Weirdos, with the Halloween season upon us, it's time to get knee deep in the dusty and crusty. Will they strike out or will they strike gold at the local community sale? Another state, another attic. They're the Attic Invaders, ready to make attics great again. <laughs> So Greco and Ed flew in for Retro Palooza weekend, and we still have one day to go until the convention. So what better way to kill some time than go into a community garage sale? Everything's bigger in Texas, especially my ego. So hopefully the garage sales can compare. Germany has good gas station. I got lucky a couple weeks ago when I got to rummage through someone's attic and basically buy out their entire childhood. Some people call it buying. I call it stealing. Garage sailing? Hi. Garage sales are always hit or miss. I'm not sure if this is the best way we can spend our time here. Definitely if it's the first day you're in Texas, but it's in Ark's backyard, so why not? Mostly it's just Halloween decoration looking at, but uh, let's check out some garage sales. <laughs> No, I have no clue what the new ones are. But they are all open. Yeah, it's a good product right here. So the first few garage sales we hit, it's really all the typical kids stuff that you usually see. No interest to us. I'm not seeing anything that transforms. Or that I want to make a move on. Including your sister. Oh! You just got grecked. But there's two rules to garage selling. Hit them early and hit as many as you can. It's a numbers game. The next garage we hit up seems to be in our bus, but there's a couple of VHS tapes dating back to the early 90s, and that's usually a good sign. So as per usual, I'm the only smart one in the group. So I actually ask people if they have games or toys. <laughs> so all of a sudden this older dude comes down with a box of stuff. Ooh. And I take a look at it, and it's a box of Nintendo consoles and games. Cool, thank you. How, how much would you want for the box? Oh. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. Sure. Good, gone. Yeah. What are the odds, dude? I mean, 20 bucks. A couple hours ago, I was still in Europe where I would need to do like 200 garage sales to even find this amount of games. I was actually looking for an N64. So this is great for eBay. Let's go home and refurbish this, <laughs> maybe. I know how to do it now. That's a good I see a couple of things in here I really want. I really like the Grey Zapper. The Golden Majora's Mask is a pretty cool one. I mean, there's a ton of really great titles in this lot right here. We got this entire box for $20. Oh, you got more than one in there? Yeah. Diddy Racing. Great finds, good games. But there's three of us, so we're gonna have to do a draft later. But let's see what else I got first. The guy actually pulls out some more stuff. He had a rock band set. Yeah, it should be a cool. It's like a whole drum set. set. <laughs> what is this? Uh, what's this one? Is it on? 360. Some CDs and some Batman dolls. You're trying to oversell it. There were just Barbie dolls dressed as Batman. We ended up getting the Batman dolls for a fiver. There you go. How much for the bag? <laughs> Welcome to Attic Invaders. <laughs> right. Where, where's Greco? <laughs> He's in the attic. We don't, we don't know. He got lost. Textbook Attic Invaders. Have your other two pals distract the homeowners while the other one slips upstairs. 
another state, another attic. Hmm. Becoming a regular thing. I actually went up into the attic because it was easier checking the boxes before they came down. But I did send down some cards at least. Next up, they bring us some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and some Magic the Gathering cards. Tons. How much did you do on these cards? What'd you say? Um, 10 bucks. We ended up paying $20 for all of these cards and we got the heck out of there. You paid $20 for those? That was pretty fun, right? Pick my nose, there you go. Making right. addicts great again. And make me. We bought so much stuff. <laughs> so, Greco, how was addict invading? That's fun. I, uh, Am I saying it right? Attic? Attic? Attic, yeah. A T T I C. A T T I C. Yeah, no, it's it's fun. I think it's uh, my second time in an attic now. Apparently, this is going to become a regular thing. It's a thing, though. Uh, yeah, I got to hit up more yard sales. Too bad it's kind of the end of the season, at least where I am. But uh, that was a lot of fun. You know, yeah. People are pretty inviting. We found stuff. Two complete systems in 64 and any. Uh, oh, I, I didn't see it? like a controller. I didn't see the controller. Yeah, the controllers, but but still, I mean, 20 I'm bucks. Like one of the Zeldas will probably just pay for that. So it was definitely good. Is it Majora's Mask a forty dollar game? Let me tell you, after finding a lot like that, you see garage sales in a whole different view. We actually went back to one of the garage sales we initially passed up because they didn't really show any potential. All they had was a mirror and some furniture. And when you look like this, you already own plenty of mirrors. The lady explains that she has a Nintendo and a Game Boy. Soon it becomes apparent to us that the Nintendo she was talking about is actually a Genesis Model 2 and a couple games, which is also great. Actually, I played Sonic, I guess, with my brother. It was always Tails. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Tails was... Are you the younger sibling? sibling yes. Yeah. 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 Tails is good, though. Nice. Mm -hmm. Outrun seems nice, and it's a cardboard box copy. Usually Sega games are in plastic. Uh, I mean, honestly, there's nothing too, too fancy rare or special. So the games aren't too special, but there is a Sonic and Knuckles not for resale in there, and quite a bit of games, so we ended up settling on 25 bucks. Then her mom starts talking about Mario Kart, and apparently she has an N64 at home that she needs to take a closer look at. I think we all know what that means. It's our house. Nintendo 64? Yes. That's yeah. like all mm -hmm. I played. This is so much fun, guys. We just picked up a Genesis lot, and I also picked up a Game Boy Color mm -hmm. transparent what? edition with uh, Tetris and Super Mario Land. How much was that? 15. 15. 15 so, doll hairs? Doll hairs. Yeah, yeah there it is. Um, and it came with two dead AA batteries. Yeah. <laughs> That's you don't see that very Free. Free. Ed shook her down, man. She's like, I yeah. really don't want to give this up. Like, I, like, it's from my childhood. Please, sir, can you leave? And he just, <laughs> he just wouldn't do it. You know, if, if you can get them to bring out the stuff, they're like 90% willing they're to sell it, you know. And we might even have a lead on N64, so we should get pictures later on today. Everywhere we go, we're finding this though. There's no stopping us. We hit up a couple more garage sales. We do attics, basements, crawl spaces, storage units. We're like the Bubba Gump shrimp of hunting. Are you guys gamers where we sell this stuff? Uh, we're collectors, yeah. Um, yeah. It, it works. Obviously, we just moved and she just doesn't use it anymore. Okay. Yeah, the we use the one I kind of skipped that one. Oh, it's awesome. It's so great. Yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Better we you than we me. What the f am I saying? I played it, but then, you know, they, they put out the switch, the switch. And, and it was like, oh, well. I can't put it down. <laughs> so these are regular Wii remotes, right? Mm -hmm. It's probably in the DS. Yeah. Two games. What? So the Wii U bundle was a little bit too overpriced, but it's nice to see that everywhere we go, we can actually find something. It's like we traveled back in time. Apparently, I need clip music. Oh, 
mythology. That's pretty neat, mythology. Right. Yeah, that is a cool one. Uh oh, Paw Patrol. Guys, so we are done with the garage sales for today. We were able to give out uh, my phone number for some N64 stuff for later today. So fingers crossed, dude. What did you get? Uh, something <laughs> a little untraditional. <laughs> Dweebs, Geeks, and Weirdos. So Never played this game. Came out in 88. Uh, just figured we could have a little family game night yeah. tonight. Uh, For one buck. You can't... We all fall into one or many of these categories. I think all three, actually. Yeah. Um, and then, what again, something I don't usually pick up literature. Okay. Uh, 2001 was obsessed with this for a while in high school all because I didn't understand it. And then some, <laughs> some cliff notes for those, those uh, book reports that oh, yeah. I failed to turn in on time. That's it. Uh, again, some Gatsby was another great you know, American novel of mine that I enjoyed. One of the few books I've read. That's Odyssey, because awesome. I'm Greek. And, uh, Brave New World. And how much were those? Uh, $2. Total, $2. Total. Total. That's, that's a steal. Not even going to haggle, man. She doesn't know what she had. Nope, she didn't. She didn't. So we're going to go back to uh, the Narc layer, and we're going to do a little game draft? Is that what we're going to do? Ooh, yeah. hmm. this, this is going to get Guess ugly. What? So we're gonna we're all gonna stop smiling. It's <laughs> gonna get real serious real quick. <laughs> it's an hour over here in Craig's Narcs nerd layer and uh, we're doing a draft of all the stuff we found at the garage sales. So the draft so so after finding all this stuff, even though I did most of the work, we decided to be fair and hold a draft. Craig's here, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this stuff. Hey guys, so we are here, and this is the um, the great draft of 2019. So the great garage sale draft of 2019. So we got a bunch of stuff. Let me give you a little closer look. All right, so we got this NES system, the Zapper N64, tons of cartridge, and uh, Magic Yu-Gi-Oh. Lots of N64 games. What is it like 17 or something? 17. Like that? Yeah. Uh, Sega Genesis version 2 with those games over there. And some Batman figures. Some, what are they, the Barbies? Yep, there's Adam yeah. West and Selena Kyle. Bam. And uh, I think Barretko is going to go first. He's kind of looking around. He's playing the field. It's, uh, you know, wondering what he's going to pick. What do you think he's going to get? What do you think? What do I think Greg was gonna do? Yeah. Um, he's gonna grab all the stuff I want and then be like, Yeah, what's gonna what's gonna make you cry? On <laughs> 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 I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Now I got first pick because without me asking him the questions, none of this would have happened. So I decided to stick to my toy roots and hang on to the Batman. Was it gonna be Greg? So what's it gonna be? At this point, the decision for me is either between a game or a Batman figure. Sure. Now, okay. Obviously, I'm traveling. Yeah. It would be easier to grab a game. Before the draft, we thought, hey, if there was anything in this pile that somebody was really gunning for or had some sentiment of value, that we would kind of pick and choose that way first, and then whatever was left over, we would have a round-robin draft. We are drafting right now. I already got the Majora's Mask with the hologram label. Got the... Zapper thing, the gray zapper, because in Belgium I only see the one with the orange. It's going slow, but uh, feeling good. <laughs> Feel, gonna, feeling good about it. Feeling good about it. Uh, Greg already got away with an N64 because he's going to be rekindling with his childhood. And hard driving. Hard driving. Your thoughts on the draft. So, my thoughts on the draft I totally got screwed. Like, I ended up with junk. Sega Genesis. I had a Nintendo console and an N64. Like, where's the games? Now in hindsight, admittedly, I do have some regrets about the video game portion of this draft. Because not only did I make the wrong choices in terms of picking the best value at my selections by bypassing on Hydro Thunder, which is kind of like the dark horse in this draft, but also a ripped up copy of Mario Kart. Because even though the label was a mess, it still had more value than some of the games that I chose to take. I actually ended up picking up the Hydro Thunder everybody's talking about, but I didn't know the game was worth that much. All right guys, we finished the draft. I got all this stuff right here. Um, yeah, picked up 
some things to just trade with over at the shows we're gonna go to the stores we're gonna hit up next and uh yeah pretty happy pretty glad thanks for being so kind during the draft guys so we were waiting around for a bit but all of a sudden a image got sent to my phone and it is a crispy n64 with mario kart and two n64 controllers <laughs> what you got a whole lot of nintendo nintendo it's gotta be worth at least two hundred dollars right there I'll tell you, tell you what. Look at that sound of bass. Bamo. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Expansion pack? Yeah. Uh, oh, moment of truth. Womp, womp, womp. Ha, ha, ha. Still good. Though. Awesome. <laughs> so, honestly, I thought that this was really one of the highlights of my entire trip to Texas because not only was it one of our first experiences together, but we really hit the nail in all the bullet points of, of what hunting and hunting together is really all about. I mean, we got out there in the wild. This wasn't a convention. This wasn't a staged event. This is something that wasn't out in the forefront that kind of smashed us in the face. We had to dig for this. We had to hunt. We had to uncover this mystery and we did it together. So really the garage sale experience was a success. That usually never happens, especially around here. I mean, you have to be out there hitting these sales like every freaking weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, any time there's a sale, you have to hit it. And you have to ask the question, what's in the attic? You got any games? You got any toys? What you got? But this time we came out plentiful and it was freaking amazing and I'm glad that Greco and Ed was here and to bask in all the vintage glory. And it was just a great shared experience that is really what you hope for when you get together with you know, strangers from the internet. Let me tell you, I totally love my first USA garage sale experience. My first day in Texas was amazing. Meeting out with NARC, meeting up with Greco Fabulous and hanging out. We still have a couple days left over here in DFW because we're gonna be on the Retropalooza panel. So I don't know if I have any words of wisdom when it comes to attic hunting, even though I am a self-proclaimed attic invader. But any chance you get to kind of do the digging for the person and kind of stop them from just dragging random boxes down is, is probably something you want to pursue. Because, number one, if they're elderly, you feel bad that they're just- I still think it's insane the luck we had with finding things over at this garage sale. We must have like hit up maybe 20, 20 spots and, and we came out with so much good stuff. So, <laughs> It, it baffled me and it was another cool experience you had the convention you had the um, toy stores that we visited and then obviously if you're a toy hunter you want to go out to a flea market or a garage sale and striking gold at a garage sale is crazy and the next trip is the day two of retro palooza where we actually had a panel I still can't believe how I got on there um, but thanks once again narc for you know just popping me on the panel. Uh, this was too cool to be a part of a panel on Retro Palooza. Okay guys, so it's day two of Retro Palooza. Last night we went over to the arcade free play. There's a new challenger approaching. Retro rig. I'm not good at any of these games, man. I'm a, I'm a poser, I'm not good at any games. <laughs> you might, yeah, we have nothing to prove. <laughs> Are you above 21? Uh, metric or... <laughs> It's finally happening, guys. Playing turtles. Already losing. Already losing. Played some X-Men. Played some turtles in time. It was a great time. And we even got to see Billy Mitchell play some Donkey Kong. Had some nice food. Had a good night rest. How are you feeling, Grego? Much better. My body was pretty much shutting did get, down. Did you get after wrecked last night? Last night? Oh, I got so wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Craig's with us too. He's been 
driving all weekend. Oh He's like the God. nicest guy ever. My dude nicest Uber guy ever. Found the Uber narc. Uber narc. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, I'm, I'm I'm excited. Uh, yeah, we're uh, I think we're on the cusp of greatness today. Today yeah. is panel day. We're doing a panel, and so. yesterday we actually got to be extras in a movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What time? Extras? Hell yeah. 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 I mean, I'm, I'm at your mercy wherever you want to ship me off. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much we can say about it. I mean, I post about it on Instagram, but okay. Check his Instagram hopefully, hopefully if you want to know get, what it's about. Hopefully they don't get mad at me. <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah, that was a really cool experience. I'm excited. Hopefully make the final cut. So apparently the first scene to be filmed for the Game Chasers movie is going to be at Retropalooza. Talk about being at the right place at the right time. We got to be extras in this first scene. I, I took a couple pics, so I'll throw that in, but it, it was pretty cool. It made the trip even more worthwhile coming over. I mean, I'm in the freaking Game Chasers movie. Bought a lot of things yesterday, but there's still some stuff I'm thinking about, contemplating maybe getting, so you'll see it in the video. So keep watching. Not, not on my channel, but his. There's no videos on my channel. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Okay, guys, we found one vendor that was actually awake. Did you go out to uh, the arcade last night? or I did not, no. no. Uh oh, but it's good because we found some stuff over here. Found dinosaurs for hire here. Uh, ghoul School, you see me pick that box up, so I really needed it. And for Renzo, I'm picking up Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2. Because he's only like 15 games away. I have to bring him something, right, Greco? Renzo is the best -o. That was terrible. It's the best -o. <laughs> Anyways, I'm buying him. I'm buying him over here from Brad, uh, who you might know from Chasing the Classics. Hi. Uh, he's pretty known for finding a stadium event for 99 cents. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar with tax, probably. Hey. So um, we got 20, 15, and 60. What does that add up to? That's 95. 95. Right? We do 90, maybe. We do 90 on it. Yeah. Are you Sounds sure? Good. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so off. much. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's, it's going great. I, I love being here in America. I'm not coming back. Okay, so I did have to come back. Greco called immigration on me. Get that camera out of my face. No unwanted YouTube footage. So I'm back in Belgium now. Um, but yeah, Brad from Chasing the Classics. I didn't just pick up those games over there from him. Uh, actually, the day before. I also stopped over at his stand and got some more stuff. I got Nightshade for Matthias because he has been looking for this game for forever. I'm gonna check if, if my, my my label is as clean as this one though. Uh, but he's gonna be happy with it anyways. I got Big Duck too from his booth. And I also got Monster Party. Looked like a cool cover. Why not pick it up? And yeah. he has games over here? Yeah, 5 for 20. 5 for 20. Sorry. Not complaining. What did you get? Two. I got Cobra Command. Not bad, right? I got Double Dragon 2. I got Fox, Peter, Pant, and the Pirates. And I got Digger T Rock. That's 5 for 20. Game. Is it? I haven't played I, it. I love it. I love it. What did you get? Here, um, me. Oh, yeah, let's do this. I, I picked up some stuff. I, I have the box for this, so I also picked up Cobra Command, Caveman Games, uh, Battle Chess. That's a really cool cover. Uh, Stinger. I think it's a shooter kind of game. And a Zapper game, Shooting Range. There you go. So, yeah. Not still bad. have to pay him. Yeah, we still got to do that. But I, I think it'll be okay. Should we? Okay. Yeah, we, sh we should probably should. Maybe. <laughs> so finally, I get to meet my Instagram crush, Retro. Oh, yeah. Dude, why? Did you, so you came all the way here from Belgium? From Belgium to see me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, just uh, to see you. Why? Nice shirt. Thank you. Really nice. Neck shirt. breaker tees. Neck breaker. I support tees. them, okay. and they gave me this shirt. Awesome. So. Awesome. So you them. have a boot over here at Retro Palooza? Yeah, man. We got all kinds of stuff. So we got. I know you've been looking probably for a Clarissa Explains It All fanny pack. So uh, I think you'd look great wearing that thing around. 
Yeah. No? It, it would be Did you watch that? Was that a thing over... I, I, don't, I, I don't remember that. Nickelodeon. <laughs> um, and then I got... I've been holding on to the, all these for it. Uh, for it. What? I think Craig is going to want to get in on this. <laughs> look at all the look, look, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't even know uh, where they go to. Oh, I, I can help you out. Yeah, that one's it. complete. Yeah, nice. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, two cameras. Two cameras. Uh, so yeah, like, but retro Rick, he doesn't just do Instagram. He also does YouTube. I mean, quit for a while. Are you doing it again uh, now or not? Come on. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back soon. You're gonna be back soon? Okay. Are you gonna make a video out of this today? I may. Yeah. Do it. I'm do sure it. you are. Make you, a video. You make a lot more videos than I do. Uh, I schedule them. Like you content planning, like you you I'm do with your too. pictures and stuff. Perfect. Thanks. Beautiful. Yeah. You got some turtles over here. What are you looking uh, for? I have most, but I'm always looking to army build this guy over here, the foot soldier. Uh -huh. So. What you're asking on this one? I I want to give you him. Really? I want to give you him, man. Why? Because you're such a nice guy. Yeah, and you shouted me out sure. a couple times. Yeah, I mean you have a there cool channel, man. Great. That's all yours, room, man. Also, it's all yours. You also have Arkanoid over there. No, that's not. This is no joke. This is complete. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. It came, got... it came with like uh, an extra controller for in the NES. This is gonna be with too much, tray? too too big to like put in my luggage though. That is, That's this is a, nice. this is the real deal, man. That's nice. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Got 125 on that, so, yeah. yeah. People, come and get this thing. You know, you meet these people on Instagram, on YouTube, and then all of a sudden you're in America, you're meeting them in real life. It was so much fun meeting up with Retro Rick, hanging out just a few moments before we do our very first panel. Some reason we're on this. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to be funny again, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> they probably just think I'm weird, though. Why? Well, just like with the awesome girl yesterday. <laughs> not really working for me. I do declare. <laughs> so, should I, mean, should I give some context? Or... Did you film that? Yeah. Oh, you got that on camera? Yeah, yeah why not? So, to give some context. I film everything you little, do, little. even when you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> So we're heading Wish out to the hotel now, right? Yeah, we are. So uh, okay. what, what you just saw, if it's gonna make it, is uh, so we got to be extras in the Game Chasers first day of filming, and one of the lines was, "I do declare," and I won't give away the rest because it'll spoil it. So that's that, that was the actress who delivered the line. So that was, yeah. you know, Greco was the chosen one because he got to stand front center in the shot. Well, I pushed a few. Yeah. I was like in the back. Women and children out of the way. Yeah, that's but. crazy, crazy. Oh. <laughs> so the panel was definitely an experience for me. Um, we had like two hundred viewers live streaming. There was a couple of people in the room. It was nice. It was fun. I was stressed out. You know, oh, you get to do a panel on on Retro Palooza. I was like, what? This is crazy. But it ended up just being us five dudes, Cincy Nerd, Rube the Great. Greco Fabulous, and of course my buddy, not on a retro channel. Are you just going from memory, or do you have like... We were all kind of stressed out, but in the end it was just us talking as friends about being collectors. We even got some questions from the audience, which was always great to keep the conversation flowing. So I started putting up my videos. You can check out the whole live stream in the link down below. I think Rube the Great's gonna do a really cool uh, edited version of it, so definitely check it out. And pancakes. Oh, we need a... So Boston Mike, What's anything up, well, you want to say about the panel? You guys did a great job, it was fun. Fun, fun, fun. Laughing. Yeah. You know, I enjoy it. There's editing stuff that you can do. I love hearing about you know, life stories. So <laughs> that's that's pretty doing? clever. On, I got a two car garage, it's all toys. <laughs> yeah, because you're like the OG toy, <laughs> right? Wow. I've been doing it for a long time. And the wife ever tells me no toys, you know, it's, it's divorce time. I'll call up Topanga. <laughs> but, uh, Anything you want to say to the European viewers? Uh, yeah, I need some G.I. Joe, European G.I. Joe. So if you guys want. You know, NECA's and just message Craig, the narc, and let him know because I'll get you guys NECA's and all that Boston stuff. Boston Mike will hook you up. So, yeah. 
I love my Joes. Send, send them in. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pixel Dance panel was up next. He showed off a really cool new video he made. He also showed some new stuff he was working on, which is very awesome. His, his, his panel was freaking top notch. And we actually got to talk to him later on. He was such a nice dude. Another nice dude that was there was Wood from Beat Em Ups, who I actually traded this shirt for. It was, I was like, hey, I want to give you a shirt. He was like, no, let's trade a shirt. So I got this Saldi shirt from Beat Em Ups. And yeah, guys, I actually got my own t-shirts now. I got the Ed's Retro Geek Out shirts. I don't know, how are you going to be able to get these? Maybe send an email to edsretrogeekout at gmail.com. I'll leave some 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 you know contacts and some uh some information down in the link below just found this game i've been looking for for forever uh, I recently picked up one Saturn game, the X-Men one, so this is a USA one. Don't have this for the collection. And uh, I've been dying to get this game. I love Golden Axe. So this is Golden Axe Duel. Way better cover than the PAL version. Should I get it? Oh, uh, it's no disc. I'm gonna have to, yeah. Not gonna go for this. It's definitely not Greco Fabulous behind the camera, being my cameraman. Oh, okay. What do you think, Greco? Should I buy it? Uh, hold on, let me pass. The... Hi, it's me. I know, beneath my standards. But trying to help a buddy out. Uh, just a box? Well, I'm not going to play it anyways, so no. it's just going to be on the shelf. No, even if it wasn't there. Even if it wasn't there? <laughs> yeah. No, no. No. Don't buy anything here. That's my motto. As he declared. <laughs> Having a great time. <laughs> I really did love the whole Retro Palooza experience. Seeing all the vendors, seeing all this cool stuff, meeting up with these people I watch constantly. And uh, I even picked up some more stuff. Now there was this guy trying to trade in stuff over at a booth. Here's Ed breaking up a deal. I was trying to sell it to these nice gentlemen but he just swooped in and now he's making a play for Wario Land. There's no there's no honor amongst thieves, you know what I mean? And I was like I, I saw a virtual boy game I really wanted, so I, I just got involved and I went like, Hey, are you selling this? Um, is that for sale or not? I was like talking to the vendor like are you okay with me swooping in over here he didn't really give an answer but i was like hey i'm just gonna get get this virtual boy game so i picked up the wario land over there uh labels kind of ripped but i really want to play this and then over at craig's game bros boot i picked up mario clash for twenty dollars uh yeah he took the haggle i was like you want to do this for twenty dollars he had it out for 25 why not both of these are supposed to be pretty okay on the Virtual Boy. And then I also saw this pretty mint red light Virtual Boy game in the box. Oh no, it's called Red Alarm. Boop, boop, boop. Um, he had it out for he had it out for $40. Uh, I offered him $30, and after a while he was like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give it to you for $30. So yeah, really spiced up my Virtual Boy collection over there, and it was one of the things I was looking for. So we'd been walking around a bit. Yeah, separately. And, uh, together. you found something. I did. Oh my god. You haggled them down like a pro, right? Yeah, I figured we we're going to hang out here for like 10 hours. Might as well buy something. Um, what did you I, get? I got uh, mids on card. Well, I should say, well, the figures mint, the card not so much, but on card. Maximum Carnage, Carnage figure. Actually, this, this is one of the first things I saw when I got here. Caught my eye. Asking price was only five dollars, but you know me, I can't help myself. How much did you get it for? Got it for three. You haggler, you. I can't do. And uh, I haggled a bit too. Uh, I saw a foot soldier, so you know I had to grab that. The army building. That's right. I also found one of these dinosaurs. Uh, Turtles! Yay! Warriors. Then evolution. 
his terrifying dino head and with Stego Wrath, Tyranno Don, Tricera Mike, and Angle Leo's help, Tyranno Shredder's about to face total extinction. New Dino Turtles and new Mutant Masters from Playmates. Uh, they were asking five each, so I got them both for eight after yeah. translating in Spanish. Because it was, it was hard getting it, right? Oh yeah, that was very yeah. difficult. Good, um, pretty good. So I've been geeking out, like going to all the YouTubers I, I watch and being like, hey there, hey there. Lots can of I, touching. Can I take a picture with Lots you? Lots of touching. <laughs> so um, it's, it's been fun for me. Yeah. So how are you feeling? Who, who got the better deal? If you like mine, give a thumbs up. Leave it down in the comments below. If you like below. his more, give a thumbs down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's a good tactic. I think so. Good tactic. Yeah. Okay, okay, awesome. So yeah, lots of TMNT stuff I picked up over there. Got this one from Retro Rick. Picked up these two turtles over here. This dinosaur line is freaking amazing by Turtles. I, I wish I could get more of these. And one thing you didn't see on camera is me picking up this guy over here from the boot where Craig or Nark, he got nail scale over there. And I always, always forget what this guy's name is. Whenever his head is pushed in like this, I'm always thinking like this guy is Ground Chuck, but no, he's like the dragon. He's called like Hot Fuzz or something. I always say Hot Spot, but it's not Hot Spot because that's the dog. Uh, that's really expensive, but uh, yeah. Picked this guy up because I didn't have him. I like turtles. Beautiful. Yeah. Then I also stopped over at the Bad Graphic Jamers boot. Um, just one of the guys was out there, so I didn't have to like eat gross stuff or anything. I was walking around and I, checked out this game over here, Frankenstein or Monster Returns. Plays kind of like a Castlevania game. You play as the Dr. Frankenstein that has to, of course, defeat the monster. Um, paid 50 for this one. I have the box right over there. So yeah, over here I got the box, so I really need to pick this up. He had out for 70, I was like, what can you do? And he immediately went down to 50, I was like, this is cool. Love Bad Graphics Gamer, so definitely check out their channel too. Too bad I didn't get any footage of uh, this transaction. He was he was so funny. I love this. This is like the paparazzi, like yeah. dual camera action. Well, you know, What's gonna to be your next food? movie? Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like, where did he go? Like, you were just right by it. I know. I know. I had to make one last ditch effort. Yeah, we see, we see. So, cool. is it released with a weapon or is it just... I don't know, but I mean, five bucks, I'd never seen it before, I'll take it. Yeah, and then some, some, some other stuff I picked up over there. I did actually buy something from Retro Rick. I bought Otello for $3 over here in Belgium. Whenever I see it, it's like 10 euros, which is like 12 bucks. So I was like, yeah. I might as well just pick it up right now. And I actually got to add a couple of games to my full set for the Game Boy. I'm working towards a full set. I think I'm down to like 20 games left now. Anyways, I got the Berlitz Info Genius Spanish Translator game. Yeah. It's definitely all the good ones that I'm looking for right now. I got Super Scrabble um, for $4. So, yeah. Pretty cool games. I, I actually am gonna be playing these because, like, there's there's not many Game Boy games out there that really suck, really. So, yeah, have to grab all that stuff. And that's it, guys. My freaking haul from Retro Palooza 2019 in Arlington, Texas. Oh, wait, one more pickup. Uh, when I got to Retro Palooza, I actually broke my backpack, like the lash came loose, so I had to pick up a new one. Got this really cool looking backpack for just $10. I, I bought it out of necessity, but in the end, I'm actually really glad buying this one. Love the artwork on this Super Mario backpack. So yeah, this helped me out a lot during my weekend over there. Oh, See if the pop up actually. Oh! A little limp. Needs a little C. Alice. But it still stays <laughs> up. Got the belt. Got the belts. It's beautiful. Yep. So apparently we did make it 
into the movie, but I haven't seen it yet. So I'm hoping somewhere down the line we, we, we will eventually get the Blu-ray in or one of the download codes uh, that me and my buddies ordered. Well, actually, me and me and Nark, we got into it. Greco, he was trying to be up close and apparently he didn't make the cut. And yeah, after leaving a little bit early, we had already seen the convention inside and out. We went out with our cherry on top, just hitting up in our toy store, Jaden's Toys. Oh God, I didn't have to jump in with you, but... Well, let's film. Hey. Greco. Hey guys, we're uh, over here at Jaden's Toys. Just got in. What's You're, up, guys? What's we're here. On? Greco Fabulous. You... you know his guy? Subscribe to him. He likes I... it when he gets new subscribers. Well, I don't know why our driver's here. Just go out and keep the car running, okay? No, no, no. This is, this is Greg. <laughs> He's like the biggest YouTuber of, this tra no. of the tree of us. Uh, no. This is Greg. Our, our, our retro channel. Yeah. Yeah. The We've North. been hanging out with him for the past couple days. Uh, we just got back from our panel over at Retro Palooza. And now we're here in Jaden's Toys. Lots so, of goodies. Lots of goodies. Lots of vintage. Lots of new stuff. All like stuff I want to take a look at. And I'm going to bring you guys along. So let's, let's do it. Wow. I might get this guy. He's, uh, he's decently priced. He's missing some things, but I don't have him. <laughs> Take two. That's a good one. What's going on, guys? So we are at Jaden's Toys here in this one. Okay, so you guys know I gotta check out the Timothy Alley. We got some loose figures over here. There's a movie star. One here, actually, have a movie star giant up there. Looking pretty neat. I've never seen that before. And there's some carded over here. So, let's take a little look. There's a, there's a Trekkie behind there. So, Greco's been doing a little digging over here. He found me the Primal Rage, the Primal Rage Monkey. How much? Box. So this is the 20. Yeah. You gotta get it. Box, I mean, I was almost gonna pay 10, 20. Uh, like 10 for like a loose one. Yeah. And they had it out for 20 loose at the other, at Retro Blue that they had it. So, you gotta buy it. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you got a friend in me.
So Greco, where, you, where you're from hey. in, in Boston, do you have like stores like this? We where, do. Like, yeah? Yeah, we like have a, a dedicated transformer? Oh yeah, I mean we have like vintage toy stores. Uh, a few good ones, yeah, spread throughout the state. Uh, yeah, they, they cover everything, so not just transformers. So next year I come over to Boston? Uh, yeah, I mean we have plenty of hotels you can stay at, lots of lodgings and accommodations. Uh, yeah. But we can meet up, right? All right, should I talk to your agent? <laughs> Why does he always do this to me? <laughs> you, you disappeared like a Facebook seller. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. It's a good meme. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's the holy grail for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to be able to buy that today. But, <laughs> so what's going to look? I, I also have yeah. to bring it over to Europe. So oh, I don't okay. want to put it in a bag and be like, having it crushed when I get for home. Sure. I feel you. Yeah. It's, it's nice to see like. Oh, of course, yeah. 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 It's still in nice condition. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. It's actually a very cool shop. They all have like one dedicated wall to each big toy line. There's some other ones just thrown out there. Um, I'm seeing some good stuff here, guys. Like this humanoid right there. It's only $50, which I would totally buy if I lived here, but uh, I, I'm not gonna be able to bring this guy on the plane, though. I mean, does he look like, like he could be a carry-on? I don't know. Um, otherwise, I totally buy him. So I'm gonna have to look for something smaller to bring along. I was checking out the the Master of the Universe part over here. So we got like most of the newer stuff they're coming out with, but they also got some vintage. They even have some vintage on card. Um, I'm gonna see for a couple of figurines over here they don't have yet. So kind of feeling this guy over here. Pretty cool. I was. Yeah, bust the chicken out of I did, I did. <laughs> How much? Five. Uh, yeah, that's the <laughs> Really? Nobody yeah. cares about that? Nice smart track. Same here. Basically anything in Except for the Primal Rage. Yeah, that was a good one. Are you just saying that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody cares, Ed. <laughs> Basically, anything you collect or enjoy, nobody else cares about. I feel loved, though. It's, it's good. It's good. They got really cool street sharks over here. Uh, not complete, but I've never seen like a giant one. So that's definitely a cool thing. Like we never see like the variants over here. Yeah, like different colors mm. that one, that one? Uh, yeah. I've seen him though I've seen him I've seen him in box somewhere yeah. uh, street sharks in here There's the yeah Dude. found a little man ball over here what do you think Greg I think you should do it Pull that trigger. You should get it? Totally. <laughs> Are you seeing anything you fancy? Um, a couple of things. There's some of the horror stuff I know, over I here. More, really? are, you, are you like having doubts about something? I'm looking at this. Sectors? Yeah. The, puppet? The, the puppet. So, I don't know. I might do it. But I already have him. Hey, does this Sectaris come with a rider? Does this uh, Sectaris come with a with the rider? I believe it comes as this. Yeah. I think I'll take that. You did something today. Yeah. Something. Okay, then I'll, I'll, I'll get this. <laughs> then I'll get the Primal Rage doll. I mean, 
action, fi action figure. Action figure. <laughs> <laughs> Battle of the Sectors begins. Heroic Dargon, leader of the forces of good, is ambushed by evil Sectors. With the help of his loyal insectoid Dragonfire, he fights them off. But they're just bait for the real trap. A far more treacherous enemy is waiting. The evil General Spydrax. Will Heroic Dargon be caught in his web? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. Get your hand. That's your other hand, yeah. You got your pinky in the thumb hole there. I think that's goofy. Oh, that's a thumb, man. Are you sure? Does it matter? That's a thumb. I don't know. That's a thumb, man. I'm telling you right now, that's the thumb hole. <laughs> Put your hand. There you go, like that. Are you on there? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. What did you find? Uh, it's a G1 needle nose transformer. I'm, uh, I'm just going to look up something because I'm not sure if he's missing a landing gear here or not. I'm just going to look at my book and see if there's supposed to be something there. But uh, if not, I will definitely get it. For the price and for a little discount, I'll take it. What do we got here? Does that work? What is Oh, yeah, they got the trains. Yeah? Yep. It's finally just too far. Yeah, I, I don't know how this many works. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, man. We'll call it. Thanks. Right. Your first trip to the you want a backpack? What? You want a backpack? Ah, oh, no, I'll put it in the backpack, so. That. This is a little mad ball. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, hey guys, I'm back in Belgium over here to show you my pickups I got over at Jaden's Toys. This was a really cool toy store. Unfortunately, it was the last one we were going to hit right before I left for Belgium again from Texas. I had a lovely time in Texas, and there is still one more video I need to edit that's coming out. It's uh, when we hit the ginormous garage sale haul, so definitely stay tuned for that one. I'm putting a bit more effort into editing that one. Um, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. So yeah, Jaden's Toys. This was a cool toy store, guys. Um, they had like giant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie turtles. Um, unfortunately, I was leaving the day after, so I already packed up. I was like, I got this much space. I can still fill in my suitcase, so I can't really uh, go over that. So they had like the giant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie turtles. They had uh, the movie turtles on card, which is also something I'm looking for. But yeah, those have been going up lately, and over there they were like I think 150 to maybe 200 dollars. Um, still cool to see, but yeah, I wasn't gonna be able to throw that down on the last day because I still need to get home. Um, they also had an Inhumanoid, so the big green one, loved that one, would have loved to taken that one and brought it home. It was $50, which seemed okay compared to like the other ones I saw before that. But anyways, you're here for the pickup, so let me show you the two things I got over there. Yeah, I couldn't really pay too much there, or uh, you know, uh, spend too much because, well, I wasn't going to be able to bring it home. What did I pick up? Over there, I picked up one thing thanks to my buddy Greco Fabulous. Greco was digging around in a tub, and finally, after, you know, three days of toy hunting, me bumping into this little figure over here, over at uh, Dallas Fan Days first. Some guy had it out at 10, then over at Retro Madness, we were, we were there, they had it out for 20. Um, and then over here, Greco's like, hey, Dude, look what I found. It's the toy you've been wanting for the longest time. 
and it's in the box. It's only 20 bucks. So I was like, yeah, I, I now I have to get this. So this is Primal Rage. Primal Rage is one of the video games on the PlayStation 1. I played the dead over at my friend's house. He had a PlayStation. We actually, this is a cool story. Um, me and my buddy, we sold our toys as a kid. So yeah, I sold off my Mighty Power Rangers for like, five dollars I, I i stuck to all my turtles but i got rid of my toxic crusaders my godzilla figure um everything like that i sold it over at like this kitty flea market my buddy sold his stuff too but he walked over like a couple stands and he started buying playstation one games and one of the games in there was primal rage and we played that to death that summer so uh that game has always been cool and like really bringing me back to my childhood uh i've been wanting to get a figure like this for the longest time and it's cool to have it in in the package so thanks greco you're like a wonderful friend thank you so much what's even more cooler about this is that it shows me a bit more about what the toy line is about so basically you had three destructive dinosaurs then you had the virtuous beasts and then there's also a super rage series which i've never seen before apparently these are uh nine inch uh prehistoric beasts so they're bigger dinosaurs yeah, i've never seen those before and there was supposed to be um Primal Rage 2 coming to the arcades. I think they may have come to the arcade, but there wasn't like a home console port of that one. Anyways, this little toy came over with the ice pulverizer, so they're on the sides over here. And it came bonus with a mini Primal Follower figure, so that's like the tiny figurine over here in red that you can, you know, throw around with. Anyway, this dude has like the same action most of those figures have, like Thundercats, you punch in the back and it goes like. Uh, making some obscene gestures this one <laughs> definitely um, so yeah um, we got like youtuber discount which is totally new to me so everything was I think five or ten percent off making this 18 bucks which was like you know 15 euros I can say no to that so definitely glad with this one from Dana's toys and then me and Craig not another retro channel we were looking over in this uh, glass case and you know glass cases are usually pretty darn expensive so he was looking at this sectors hand puppet um, he didn't pull the trigger on that one but I saw with my little eye a little bigger eye in there and yeah I found this mad ball cool eye so this is the oculus eye probably so yeah it says oculus oculus orbus apparently okay so this mad balls 1986 what's cool about this or maybe a bit strange is uh it's it's mushy it's not like the the hard plastic so this is completely mush on the inside um i actually have like other ones this one is like it's not as this is like plastic with just something on the like there's air on the inside this isn't so i don't know if that's like USA versus Europe or not but yeah it's, it's weird it's weird to see this one also seems a bit bigger uh, than this one these are ones I'm finding over here this is like the first time I saw this unfortunately he does have a bit of yellowing on the white over here but hey still cool I think I paid $15 for this one they're, they're pretty expensive over there but uh, I had never seen this before and it was so mushy so got that out of glass case Craig was like come on dude you gotta pull the trigger on that or I'm gonna buy it so I was like well okay let's bundle these two up and you know get the discount so yeah Jaden's toys uh, these were my pickups um, they had so much cool stuff I think Greco even bought stuff over there and he's always like you know I'm more like a fleet market guy um, so yeah Fun stuff, good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. You know, looking back at all these videos, I know so much more about toys right now, and I'm just seeing things I left behind. I'm like regretting, oh, I should have picked that up. But uh, you can't buy everything, obviously. I'm super excited to be heading back with the original Attic Invaders, Narc and Greco. It's gonna be insane meeting you guys again and hanging out, pumping out all that content. I know Spruce is coming along, Pixel Dan might show up, and if you're gonna be out there at the Chicago Toy Show, please come up and say hi. I love meeting anybody who's just a collector, anybody who watches some of my videos. So, um, yeah. 
I, I even have some stickers. So you'll get a sticker if you, if you come and say hi. How about that? That's gonna be it for this way too long video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more 80s and 90s toy hunting and toy history videos. And if you like to support the channel even more, maybe you can check out the Patreon or buy a t-shirt in the Teespring link down below. That's gonna be it. I hope to see you in the next video, guys. See you later. Bye.